Okay, don't worry. I received your summons and we're gonna review it, Mr. B, and we'll get back to you today. Okay, thank you. What happened, Mr. Remember the new client we got this morning? Okay. We received the summons he received from the revenue office. Okay. And it's a summons to appear. Okay. So we can't go with them. So how do you want to address this? Here is what happened. When, when the client receives the summons from the IRS, we cannot go in instead of the client. The client has to go to the IRS and meet with them. We can be there at the meeting, but we cannot help him in any way to delay the process. Some revenue officers will use the summons to get the client's attention. When they see that the client is ignoring them, that's one way to get back at the client, to make sure they get the tax returns that they need to keep the case moving. By doing that, sometimes they have the right to circumvent the representative from being involved to put more pressure on the client. However, Nelson, make sure you contact the client back. Let's get the tax returns ready and you can call the revenue officer and let him know that we'll give them the information by the end of the week. Okay, no problem. Thank you, sir. So guys, when the IRS issue a summons, it's something that is very, very serious. They need documents from you. It could be your tax returns. It could be your accounting records that they need to process the return to get a true value of how much you owe them. So follow me and I'll show you how to deal with the IRS.